Gay 2023 é do município de... Many of you will be shocked to know that I've never actually participated in a pageant myself. So when this happened, I thought, well, maybe that's part of a skit because that can't be real, right? Well, it is. Let's put up the picture full mass. I got the background, I got the foreground, and it still doesn't make sense. Pageant husband rushes on stage after the wife lost. Nathalie Becker, the runner-up to Varzia Grandes, Emanuele Bellina at Brazil's Miss Gay Mato Grasso 2023, who was in the process of being crowned when Becker's husband rushed the stage. He slams the crown to the ground and grabs Becker's hair tries to pull her off the stage before picking up the crown and slamming it to the ground again. Event organizers issued a statement confirming that uh, Bellini was indeed winner and condemned Becker's husband, the actions, and announcing that he'd be facing legal action in connection with the incident. Okay? Um, yeah. So naturally, unwanted physical contact, well, that's a crime virtually anywhere you go. Uh, going on a stage, doing it not only in front of people, but doing it when you know that it's being recorded live, well, that's entirely different. And I have to imagine if you're doing things like this because of, let's say, a pageant loss, I'm, I'm sure you uh, wanted your wife to win, who would not? Uh, you may want to consider that you're putting way too much emphasis on something that at the end of the day does not define you, it doesn't define your wife, and it should not define your relationship. And I've seen over just my life uh, that there's a wisdom associated with keeping things internal. If there's conflict, go through a remedy that's available, maybe an appeal process, but in that moment, sir, in that moment, your wife was being graceful. It's part of the competition process. She needed comfort later. Not sure if you were able to provide that. All right, Jackson, <laughs> have you seen anything like this before? <laughs> no, maybe not quite in the same setting, but uh, in, in, in different circumstances, yeah, I've definitely seen men act like little children and, and grown <laughs> women act like little children, too, for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that dude ran up on stage faster than we even had time to see how his wife felt. As soon as the right. crown went on the other person, he just teleported up there and was like, <laughs> threw it on the ground. But the funny thing was, too, was like, because as you pointed out, if there was any, she could have took it like real gracefully and be like, well, I had a good time. She may not even been like upset about it for real. But uh, it, it yeah. was just funny to think about like the car ride home or like when they got home, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that was, that was so attractive what you did. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you know, mm, yeah. <laughs> and you, you never know. You never know what the conversation was afterwards, yeah. right? You just have no idea. Uh, but I will <laughs> say this. Typically, you don't want someone else defining your moment for you, whatever that moment may be, right? You don't want somebody else to define it. You want to define it yourself, even if it's not in the best of light, right? You want to define it yourself. And obviously, in that moment, he took it away. 